Hi everybody. I wanted to give you a video that kind of explained how to really go through the pre-built learning modules that we have in the My IT Lab work for Office 365. Now, these uh, learning modules are sequential, which means that you have to, at least they're, you're intended to go through every single one of these one at a time. And as you complete them, it unlocks the next item in the list. However, I don't really find that to be super conducive for what these uh, modules really are, the kind of work that they have you uh, doing. So what I want to do with this video is provide my recommendation for how I think you should go about going through these modules. And you know, you can take my advice. You don't have to take my advice, but I think it's worth uh, I think it's worth possibly doing the modules in this order, and hopefully you'll see why by the end of the video. So my view right here is pretty similar to what you should see when you're opening up the learning module for the first time. Now, what you'll actually see opening this up for the first time is the only thing that's actually clickable is the word one e-text everything else will be completely grayed out. Unfortunately, I can't reset my own progress through this uh, module. So I, I can't actually show you exactly what it looks like when you visit this module for the first time. This is about as close as I could get. But really what you want to do is the first thing when you look at this module is open up the Word 1 e-text by clicking it right here. And this will open up a new window and when you open up that window, it will load into the actual e-text, the, the electronic text, where you can read through the textbook, you can watch videos related to the work that are, is in here, and so on and so forth. So what we have right here is Word Chapter 1 with a brief overview of everything that you'll be covering in this uh, chapter. Now something I want to point out right here in the uh, on the very first page of Word Chapter 1 is you'll see this 1A project and Project 1B. And actually, if you look at the table of contents by clicking this button at the very left, you'll actually see that Chapter 1 is divided into Project 1A and Project 1B. Now, what's important to note is this actually lines up with this Word 1A simulation training, Word 1A flyer, those are both for Project 1A, and the Word 1B simulation training and Word 1B programs thing. So essentially what the textbook is doing is it's telling you how to complete your Project 1A that you will be turning in as homework and how to complete your Project 1B that you'll be turning in as homework. At the same time, the simulation training actually walks you through the steps of completing Project 1A and Project 1B. So the simulation training for Project 1A will actually have you practicing all of the steps for your actual Project 1A that you'll be submitting for me to grade. So you can actually practice it on the simulation training and then follow along with the steps yourself when you're doing your project. So essentially what's going on is as you read through the actual textbook, I'm going to go through and look at the, uh, the first objective here. You'll see some instructions right here. So activity 1.01, this is going to be the first step to completing project 1A. It actually um, tells you, you know, once you've downloaded the files for this project, and I'll explain how to do that in a second. Uh, it tells you how to open it, how to display formatting marks, and in the next video I'll actually tell you what those formatting marks are, and so on. And uh, the actual things that you have to type in there to complete this step. So everything in the textbook is actually a step-by-step -step guide for what you need to do in order to complete the, um, in order to complete the project. Now, what I want to note is that there are actually definitions within 
all of this textbook reading. So there's font and font size, margins, line spacing, paragraph spacing, view, you know, all of these definitions, they will be italicized, they'll be, you know, bolded, they'll have these links where you can actually click on them and see the definitions and stuff. So you'll actually really want to pay close attention to all of this, take notes of these and maybe create your own sort of vocabulary glossary or something like that, because when we actually get to the end of chapter quiz right here, this end of chapter quiz will actually test you on a lot of those definitions. So pay close attention to that. Make sure you're clicking every definition when you come across them. Make sure you're taking careful notes and make sure you are, you know, understanding what each of those do or, or are. So once you actually open up the textbook for the first time, if you minimize the textbook window and go back to the Word 1 pre-built learning module page, you'll actually see that Word 1A simulation training is now available for you to click. So all you have to do is open the e-text and then you have access to the simulation training. What I recommend doing is, you, I think, at least I think the best way of going about this is reading through the textbook, following along with every single one of the steps that the textbook has you do in the simulation training and on your you know, Word 1A project or your Word 1B project or something like that. But you'll notice that the Word 1A project is locked off. So what you should do, you know, the first time you actually enter the module, you should click to open up the textbook. Then you should minimize that textbook window. Click to open up the simulation training. Now with the simulation trainings, this might take a little bit for uh, everything to load. If it even does want to load, I'll try it again. There we go. For the simulation trainings, I have actually given you unlimited attempts. So you can do these simulation trainings as many times as you want. You can submit them as many times as you want. This is really important for the trick that I'm about to do. I open up the simulation training and I'll actually click submit right away. Do you want to submit the incomplete assignment? Okay, I'm going to submit it because you can redo the simulation training as many times as you want. So as of right now, you know, I'm showing a score of 0% on the simulation training. It says completed, it's, it isn't really completed. Uh, you should definitely go back and actually complete the simulation training. But the reason why I've, com why I've completed this is then I unlock the Word 1A flyer. I'll click that. This is the page that will open when you click Word 1A Flyer. You'll see that you have to download some materials, and then you have to follow the instructional steps to finish the project. If you click Preview Steps, it's essentially going to say, go through the textbook and complete all the activities. So follow the steps that they tell you to do in the textbook. And then when you're done, you can choose the file to, choose your finished file to upload and then submit it for grading. So what I would do, Right away, as soon as you click Word 1A Flyer, is click Download Materials, download all files, and then save it to your computer. Now, when you save all of those files to your computer, what you're going to end up with is a zip file, a compressed file containing all of the materials that you're going to need for that assignment. Now you should unzip this file. You should decompress it in the same way that you learned how to do in the simulation training, which is by right clicking it and then hitting extract all. In the file, in the file, in the folder that results from uh, decompressing the zip file, you should enter into the folder and you'll end up with a whole bunch of documents right here. The instructions document gives you all of the instructions that you'll need in order to complete the assignment. This, um, this file that has your last name underscore word, in this case, it's word 1A flyer. It might be word 1B program. It might be 
word 2a whatever for the next module. But the one that has your last name at the very beginning is the file that you will be submitting at the very end. So you'll want to double click this file and open it up. And this is what the file looks like once you've opened it up in Word. So it, it is blank. If, you, if you're concerned about that, don't worry. It's actually, it actually is supposed to be a blank file. Part of the whole project is that you will be uh, filling it out. So you'll be actually putting stuff in this file. So what you should have open right now are the e-text. You should also have the simulation training open. And you should have your Word document for, uh, you know, last name underscore word underscore one a underscore flyer dot doc x. You should have that open as well. With all three of those open, here's what I would recommend doing. First, you go to the textbook and you start reading. So you would start at, you know, you would read the introduction, you would read you know, the beginning of Project 1A Flyer. We'll let that load. Read through these project activities. And this is a, by the way, a snapshot of the final image. This is what you'll end up creating by the end of Project 1A. And you'll get some instructions on um, downloading the 1A Flyer stuff, uh, extracting the zip folder, and checking out the instructions and all that. You'll have a video, an explanatory video on what you're going to end up be doing words, what you're going to end up doing in this step. And then all of this important information here. So I would read all of this, head to the next page. At the next page, you have objective one, which is the first step in actually doing your project. So you'll have a video that teaches you how to do the first step. Then you'll actually have everything listed out step by step. Make sure you're taking notes on all this vocabulary material. So, you know, home tab, paragraph group, you're, you're taking notes on like what all of these are, where all of these can be found in Word, uh, clicking this button, you know, taking notes on what this button does, all of that kind of stuff. Go through all of this. Once you reach the very end of objective one, right here, you know, at, at least the, uh, the end of activity 1.01. .01. Once you reach the end of activity 1.01, .01, because that's the first step in creating your document, what I would do is go to the simulation training. And the first question of the simulation training is actually going to walk you through how to do activity 1.01. Follow what the simulation training does. And of course, like the Windows 10 simulation training, you have all the learning aids. So you can read the instructions, you can watch the video, and you can practice. So all of those are available to you. I would follow the instructions on this step on the Home tab in the Paragraph group, Home tab, Paragraph group, click Show Hide to display the formatting marks in the document. I click that. Type internships available, internships available, press enter two times, enter, enter. At the insertion point, type this summer, Sturgeon Point Productions will be filming a short documentary in Costa Rica about oh, its native birds and has positions available for two interns. It is hard to type and read out loud at the same time. Including the period, press spacebar. Question complete. Now that you've done that, go to the Word document and follow the exact same instructions. Now, if you need to reference those instructions again, you can head back to the textbook and you can follow it step by step, going between the textbook and the uh, actual Word document. So we already have student uh, Word 1A flyer open, uh, and it should be good to edit. Um, so on the Home tab in the Paragraph group, click Show Hide Formatting Marks. 
so that it is active in the formatting marks display. I'll click that. And then I'll go back here. Type internships available and then press enter two times. And so on. So that essentially is how I would go about doing this project, doing both the simulation training and the project. So you have a lot of resources available to you. You have the textbook, which is explaining what you're doing and explaining about the different features of Microsoft Word that you'll be learning about through doing these uh, projects. You'll be learning while doing the projects. And you also have the simulation training so that you can practice and get immediate feedback on whether what you're doing is correct or not. And my hope is that by the time you finish the simulation training, if you're working alongside the simu simulation training by doing your own project, you know, sort of at the same time, reading the textbook, simulation training, project, reading the textbook, simulation training, project, and so on and so forth. My, my hope is that by the time you finish with all of that, you should have a really good idea of what the final project should look like. Now, I want to take another look at the files that you're given when you actually download the files for the project. So you have the, uh, the flyer, the one that starts with your last name. That's the actual document that you're going to be turning in. But you have a whole bunch of other stuff as well. In every project, you will be given an image of the final result. In this case, you know, the final result of what your document should actually look like. So by the time you're done with it, it should look like this. And if it doesn't look like this, then you might have done something wrong. So I would go back through and see what you might have missed. But I, again, I'm pretty sure that if you follow along by reading the textbook, doing the simulation training, and then doing the same steps in your actual project, you shouldn't be missing any of these steps. So you'll get a final result. You'll also get a instructions, a set of instructions. Now the set of instructions, oh, this is not Microsoft Word, my bad. Uh, the set of instructions is going to look something like this. You're going to get a table and you're going to get the amount of points that everything is worth, that each step of the project is actually worth. Now, when it actually comes to these 1A and 1B projects, or the 2A, 2B projects, you know, the, the part A and part B projects, the instructions are essentially going to say, complete this activity from the textbook. So that's why you need to follow along with the textbook. Uh, there's also the end of chapter assessments, which don't have you follow along with the textbook, but actually have you look at this instructions file and follow along from there. So we'll take a look at that in a second. But yeah, you'll get an instructions document. The other thing you'll get is, well, the other things that you'll get are any supplementary material that you will need in order to complete the project. So you get this text document for project 1A, and this text document, you'll actually be importing the text from this document and putting it into your project. So that's one of the steps is actually learning how to insert text from another document into the document that you're working on. And then you'll also get a picture of a bird for this particular project. These supplementary materials might look a little bit different depending on which project that you're working on. It's going to vary project to project, but you'll always get instructions. You'll always get an idea of the final result, and you'll always get the supplementary materials that you need in order to complete the project. When you're ready to submit your project for grading, what you'll do is you'll click this choose file button right here. And you'll navigate to the folder where you actually saved the, uh, the material that you downloaded by clicking this button right here. I'm going to do that off camera real quick so I don't reveal any sensitive, sensitive information. All right, so in my case, what I would upload is color word 1a flyer dot docx. This will be your last name underscore word underscore 1a underscore flyer dot doc x. In your case, uh, you don't need to rename it color underscore that. Actually, please don't rename it to be my last name. Uh, just 
don't change any of the file names here. Just uh, keep it as is. But yeah, uh, you would click on this file right here, your last name, Word 1A Flyer. You would click Open. And then Upload, just like I did. You'll see success, color underscore word underscore 1A underscore flyer dot doc X is ready to submit for grading. If you want to get rid of that, if you accidentally submitted the wrong file, you can click undo and it will go away. Once you have your file uploaded, then you're ready to submit it for grading. What you'll do is you'll click submit for grading and you should see this message, kudos, your file has been submitted for grading. If you get some kind of error or something like that, try refreshing or try logging out and logging back in etc etc um, until this works and you'll know that it works if you see this message and if you need any help just please let me know as soon as possible so we can make sure that you can get the grade in before your assignment deadline so now once you've actually turned in your word 1a flyer assignment what you're going to see next is that word 1b simulation training is now open and I'd recommend doing the same thing, where you click Word 1B Simulation Training, you submit it immediately, and then go back and um, download the files for Word 1B programs, and then you do that same workflow. Read the textbook, uh, read the steps for one act for like the first activity, do that activity in the simulation training, and then do that activity within your own project uh, document. And then just repeat that over and over and over again until you have completed your project. That's my recommendation for how to go about doing this. Now, you don't have to follow my recommendation. You're welcome to do the entirety of the simulation training first and then do your actual flyer or programs or whichever assignment that it is. But, you know, that's just my two cents on how to do it. Now, when it comes to the assessment assignments or the very final assignment at the end of a module, things are going to work a little bit differently. You're actually going to get your instructions, not from the textbook, but from the included instructions in the zip file. And you can actually preview the steps by clicking this preview steps button that, that I just did on the actual you know, assignment page. So the assignment instructions, this lets you get an idea of what you need to be doing right here and what everything is worth. So once you download the materials for the assessment assignment and unzip them, this is what it's actually going to look like. You're going to get the document that you'll turn in, the one that starts with your last name. You'll get the instructions document you'll get all the supplementary materials that you'll need. But in this case, because it's an assessment assignment, you're not going to get a picture that shows you what the final thing should look like. So it's actually up to you to follow the instructions as best as you can and make the best document that you're able to. So let's take a look at the instructions really quick. I'm going to open this with Microsoft Word and you'll see all of the instructions right here. Rather than saying refer to this activity in the textbook, you're going to get do this and do this and do this and so on and so forth. So you have these very detailed instructions. These are the instructions that you have to follow in order to uh, actually do well on the assignment. So it won't be holding your hand like the simulation training and instructions and you know picture showing what the final product should look like would be for projects 1a and 1b but by the time that you've actually completed all the simulation training and you've read the textbook and all of that you should have the knowledge that you need in order to do just fine so i wouldn't worry about it too much if you have any questions regarding how to complete the uh, sequential learning modules or how to access the text or about the process that I recommended for reading the textbook, doing the simulation, doing the step in the project, anything like that, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm here to help as, you know, as best as I can. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching.